The money you make, the music you listen to, the food you eat, even the type of lingerie you buy. Personal information you might not even whisper to a best friend is being bought and sold online. Anything you do online, somebody can see. Just look at data sites like Spokio.com. It compiles information from public sources. Punch in a name, you could get all sorts of information on a family. Your home, how much you make, your hobbies. It might not be correct, but it's out there. Data mining is a multi-billion dollar business. Companies are able to profile people by checking public records and by tracking their every stroke and click on the internet. And here's the kicker, in most cases we allow them to do it. You're selling access to yourself uh, in exchange for something that is theoretically free. You're not transacting money, but you are transacting personal information in exchange for uh, you know, the right to use the service. Christopher Penn is the Vice President of Strategy and Innovation for Blue Sky Factory, an online marketing company. He says with certain websites, when you make a purchase, read an article, sign up for a coupon, or fill out a form, data is collected. List owners compile that information and sell it to list brokers. The brokers then resell it to companies who are looking to target a specific type of customer. Let's say I own a company that sells sunglasses, and research shows they're popular with men 30 to 40 who like to ski in the Northeast. Well, I'd pay a broker for a list of emails of people who fit that demographic, and then target them. The Direct Marketing Association said that email has a $43.62 ROI, which means for every dollar you spend, you will earn back $43. That's why there's so much spam. I mean, uh, uh, you look at spam in your inbox and go, no one would fall for that. Yes, people do, and that's why it works. In most cases, we allow websites to dish our info when we agree to the terms of service. Stefan Dietrich is the president of the marketing firm Neolane North America. His company only sends out emails to people who request them from his clients. The consumer has shifted the definition of privacy into an area where not even a brand could imagine they would go. It was unbelievable to see what you can find on, on Facebook right now and people are throwing that stuff out there, you know, hey, you know, consume it. In some cases, targeted emails can turn us onto a new product or a deal we might actually want. But data mining is not an exact science and the picture a company creates of you might not be accurate at all. I was looking on the line and all of a sudden I'm getting mail on things that I never really had interest in before but it just was browsing through the internet. There are steps consumers can take to protect themselves. The easiest, avoid websites that share your data. It requires looking at the fine print and understanding it. And keep in mind, most sites do. The other thing that, that is useful to do um, is whenever you're doing any kind of registration form, instead of putting your middle name and put the name of the site in there so that when you get messages from these companies, you can figure out where the data was originally from. Companies are required to remove your email address from a mailing list within 10 days if requested. So if you think you're being followed on the web, you probably are. Data miners digging deep to learn as much as they can about you. I'm Ted Daniel, Fox 25 News.